So, this is Queen's Road. And I show you, and I show you what Queen's Road is relevant for. And what I want to show you is also what North End is relevant for. And especially the street there. Let's take a walk. So this road, Queen's Road, behind me takes me to a suburb called Queen's Park and this is North End where I am. So right now we'll soon pass the retirement home and that's where it slowly begins how we, yeah, how this, how North End is relevant and from Queen's Road. So on the right side where the camera is pointing that it's not that's the place the highlanders club what the very famous club of bulawayo actually it's called bulawayo not bulawayo bulawayo is more it's more like the uh what can i say an english pronouncement like in other cities i mean during colonialization there are some cities like in South Africa, one city was called Mafe King or Maf yeah, Mafe King. They later renamed it to Mafi King, but the original name is Mai King. Mai King, I think. Mai King. So, yeah, this is. We are in Bulawayo. So, yeah, or even quite recently, the country Swaziland is called Eswatini. So you see there are a lot of twisted things sometimes. So let's keep walking. So on the left side, this is the retirement home. And on the right, like I said, it's the Highlanders Club. This is how the retirement home looks like. It's a busy day today. So here's where Highlanders train, but their stadium's not here. It's a Baba Field Stadium. Waberfield Stadium is somewhere else. So, yep. <laughs> so, chose Waberfield Stadium to the right. Guest house, tree shed, guest lodge, quite new. So, Queen's Sports Club. This is where Bulawayo sees the world. This is the cricket stadium. You can see from the inside.
This is where the world plays against Zimbabwe when it comes to cricket. Very famous. The first stadium. There's another stadium we will get to see. Yeah, let's walk. Queen Sports Club. So, to the left is the cricket stadium. I'm keeping it low right now because now this is the rugby stadium, the Hartfield Stadium. And in this stadium, this stadium is known, it has history. It's known to have beaten the very mighty All Blacks, but back in the 60s. So Zimbabwe has beaten New Zealand before. The Zimbabwe Sables. Yep, I'm saying so. This is where they train. Yep. This is how it looks like. But this time we're filming from the outside. I don't know if I can get inside. Hartfield Stadium. There's a lot of police activity going on, so I'm vlogging a little careful today. At the cricket stadium, couldn't get a lot of it because there was so much police visibility, so just trying to avoid a couple of things there's a school to the left we go to the right some people didn't really appreciate it when I was walking around with the camera so just keeping it low here People are a little bit different at home, unfortunately. Nice neighborhood. Facing on the camera, introduce an area. I forgot my slogan. So, hot field. Here we are. Hartfield Stadium where the Zimbabwe national team plays and the Hartfield Club mm. Well behind me there's police visibility 
so I'm just keeping it low So I'll end the video here. This is what I've shown about North End, what's relevant about North End. Yeah, two stadiums we've seen, one club, and yeah, that's it. We couldn't enter, but it's yeah, a relevant suburb here in Northern Bulawayo. So, like, comment, subscribe, peace, yo.